Hey y'all, this your girl Creole Shawty Tarot coming at you with another video. This is going to be for my water sign, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't make it fit. If you want to book a personal reading with me, I'm running a $20 reading special. Alright, so take advantage of it. I will resume personal readings on Wednesday. First come, first serve. Please allow 72 hours after payment to receive your reading. So let's get into it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Holy Spirit, please allow me to be the channel and provide my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, with clear and honest messages. What Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio need to know? Holy Spirit. The disciple. The flag. Agitation in the reverse. in the reverse at the bottom of the deck we have the sluggard mm. water signs what I'm getting is a lot of you all you were and are here <laughs> you are here to uh, teach okay teach people things that you may have already gone through experience so forth and so on you already know what that journey of discipleship looks like right for god said that if in order for you to be a disciple you have to hate your mom your father your sister your brother you have to be willing to leave everybody that is of value and importance to you behind you in order for you to walk with jesus he also mentioned that we all have to carry our cross to be able to be a disciple so you definitely have done that Okay, some of you all, it's like you have had so many disagreements with people in regards to your own spiritual path. And not everybody is for it, right? They're so against it, right? And they're against it for many reasons, okay? But as a water sign, you know, you are the most intuitive people in the zodiac, okay? um psychic whatever you want to call it right you know things before other people know it. you pick up on things before other people pick up on it um you guys are my seers um yeah highly intuitive and um a lot of you all are in paths right and so what do disciples do they become fishermen of men they go seeking and finding other disciples making disciples of other people right helping people find their way and um so i feel like you have to leave some people behind and associate yourself with the people that is on the same path as you that think like you this is like um connecting with people who are on the same vibration as, as you, who think like you, who has the same or similar purpose and, and plans, right? Goals. Because the flag speaks about our alliances and our affiliations with certain things, right? There could also be somebody around you that is showing you some sort of red flag, Okay. And I feel like whatever this red flag is that they're waving in your face, you're taking heed to it. But you know not to feed into it too much because you've already been there, done that, right? I feel like with this person, these people, 
some of these people, they may be acting a certain way, going against you, okay? Created alliances with your adversary, so forth and so on. It's going to be different for different people, but even you're not allowing that to get to you. That's why agitation came out in the reverse. It's like, I've been there, done that. I've grown from that. From that. I've outgrown that type of behavior, right? Pride came out in the reverse. Like I said, you've learned a lesson. You have learned not to let your ego get the best of you, okay? I don't feel like a lot of you all were like egotistical. I feel like the people that were trying to attack you or attack your gifts, what it is that you know, your inner knowledge and wisdom and understanding of certain things, um... They was more so attacking you in an egotistical way, right? But you have compassion for these people because for a lot of you all, you know that these people don't know any better. They are on a whole different type of timeline from you. Um, you also dealing with some people that are lazy, right? They get mad at you for what you know, but yet they're not willing to put in that work to find the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding that you have came across, right? It's kind of like seeking God. Those who shall seek shall find. Those who knock, the door will open, right? They have not done that. We have the sluggard. We got the thirst here. And then we have the servant here. These people are thirsty for God's word. They're thirsty to get that knowledge, that wisdom, but they're too prideful to come and ask you, Right? But I feel like with the pride coming out in the reverse, you're willing to share what it is that you know with these people. But like I said, you know they're not going to put in the work. All right? You are a servant of God. I feel like the work that you do, it is a plausible. That's why we have the applause here. And then we have the sign here. So some of you all, this is what you're being called and guided towards. Speaking up. Teaching people. Like I said, through your life lessons and experiences. Right? But we also know that, you know, it's those that teach that get judged the harshest. And so even the word says that not everybody is fit to teach. Because with teaching also comes great patience. Understanding that not everybody is going to see things the way that you see it and understand it the way that you understand it. So sometimes you have to break it down. And even sometimes when you break it down to simplest terms, they won't understand it, right? So, yeah, this is kind of like uh, knowing who to teach, when to teach, and how to teach. Because those that's in the sluggard energy is kind of like casting your pearls before swine in a sense. All right? They just want to see what you know, want you to fetch it to them, and want to pass it off as if they know certain things when they don't. They just mimicking you in, or trying to mimic you. Right? In my opinion, as the form of mockery is also insulting, right? You got people that has been educated in certain areas, yet you know more than them. And it's because you have a true connection with God. It's not even about what's written on paper. It's more so about what's written in your heart. Right? So don't be surprised if you have people who have certain credentials for education that they pay for, yet you're teaching them, right? That's the energy I'm picking up on so far. Let's see what type of entities and deities we're dealing with. Holy Spirit, what entities and deities, Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio is dealing with. What entities and deities Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is dealing with? So I'm looking at double fire, double water. I'm getting yin yang energy with a little bit of the earth. So I feel like for some of you all, you have your individual purpose and calling. And then 
in regards to your twin flame, your other half, whatever have you. If you're a divine feminine, your divine masculine, y'all supposed to come together, balance things out, teach this world about certain things, okay? Not everybody is going to get on board because let's keep in mind, we got the slugger here, right? Hathor, mistress of harmony, mediation, communication, culture. A lot of you all are supposed to communicate messages to the culture, the generations. Supposed to intercede in some way, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have Eternal Ser Servitor, the Ancient Wanderer. You have a lot of people that's trying to find their way. Hope, incompleteness, yearning. I'm going to read both of these. We're going to start with Hathor as soon as I find it, all right? Like I said, she is the mistress of harmony. The goddess of love, joy, dance, and music serves as a font of culture and art in duat. She serves as diplomat and mediator to the other gods, resolving disputes between them, both within the realm and between duat and other realms. Hathor reminds us of the pleasures in life and that they are more difficult to enjoy when there are outstanding problems between people. If you cannot serve as a mediator yourself, perhaps it is wise to seek out one. Seek one out. So yeah, this goes back to what I was talking about. Like, you trying to teach certain people things. And um, it's like people are creating alliances with your adversaries. Therefore, there is friction. There is differences between people okay and it's all like based on what you know what you understand right that wisdom but a lot of you all you was created to be this way and for a lot of people that you associate yourself with they're not used to people like you who have a deeper like connection with the divine, with source, with God. And like I said, you could try to break down things, explain things to people, maybe even be the peacemaker in certain people's problems and situations. Baby, go sit down. And they still don't get it. They still don't understand it. Go sit down, baby. So if you are the one that's having an issue with someone else and you can't be your own mediator then it may be time to go to counseling especially when it comes to like family matters or whatever the case may be or this could be a message for the cross watchers right i just feel this energy with somebody is so against you to the point to where they can't see how you're trying to bring harmony into their world and help and trying to help them find themselves. All right. Because you're dealing with some somebody who has a spirit of incompleteness, right? Let me get into this uh eternal servitor energy. Baby, can you please go sit down? All right, so like I said, Eternal Servitor was an ancient wanderer. The Eternal Servitor has wandered the realm as long as anyone can remember, perhaps as long as there has been a mausolea, as long as there has been time or memory. It wanders incomplete, suffused by longing for the unknown thing that it lacks. Perhaps this thing is a piece of itself. The truth is what it is, the purpose for which it was created, or maybe it is itself a memory, a remnant of something that died before death came into being. The eternal servitor reminds us that we are ourselves eternally incomplete and we must manage our desires and shape them into what we want to be. Lest they consume us and become all that we are. 
okay? So you hear this. So somebody has not found themselves and they feel some type of way because you know who you are, what your life purpose is, and your mission when it comes to the collective, um, this, this earth, this world, this realm that you're in, right? And like I said, I feel like all you have been is a help to these people. But they viewing you as some sort of opponent, adversary, somebody that is not on their team. So I feel like a lot of you all, you have created your own tribe or found your tribe. And this person has not found that. But this is something that they're yearning. But in order for them to find it, they have to put their pride to the side, just like you had to put your pride to the side. Right? They have to get up and work for what it is that they want, right? But instead, they're in this sluggard energy. So let me pull the overall advice. Holy Spirit, what is the overall message and advice for my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio? I am entrusted with the gifts of God. You can wait, delay, paralyze yourself, or reduce your creativity almost to nothing, but you cannot abolish it. And this is why the sluggard energy is out. So I hope you enjoyed this message. My water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And until next time, bye.